One of our computers, this is our latest generation, this is the chip that goes into it. This is the largest chip the world's ever seen. This is beyond the limits of physics. We had to invent some new technology to make it possible to do How this. many bits this are in? 208 billion transistors. In that. Um, NVIDIA just dropped a bombshell. They've unveiled the Blackwell chips, touted as the world's most powerful chip for AI. According to NVIDIA's top honcho, this chip goes beyond the laws of physics as we know them. Welcome to Infinite Innovation Tech. Today, we go through NVIDIA's latest creations, from the formidable Blackwell chips to the marvels of Project GR00T and beyond. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, NVIDIA's big boss, Jensen Huang, just threw their first in-person party since COVID-19 hit. It's called the GPU Technology Conference, GTC. And it's like the Woodstock or Lollapalooza of AI tech, not music. Huang joked around, ensuring everyone knew they weren't there for tunes, but for the latest AI tech. At this shindig in San Jose, California, he introduced NVIDIA's excellent new chip design, Blackwell. He also talked about this crazy, powerful thing called GeneEye which is all about training huge language models for AI magic. We're talking trillions of parameters and word parts, needing a mind-boggling 30 billion petaflops to train. That's some serious computing muscle. Huang joked that if we relied on a petaflop GPU, it would take a whopping 1,000 years to finish the training. Imagine waiting that long for your AI to learn. Now, NVIDIA's latest H100 GPU is a beast, cranking out about 2,000 trillion operations per second. That's 2,000 TFLOPs. But to hit the insane 30 billion petaflops needed for training those mega language models, we're talking way more power than even the top-notch chips like the H100 and H200 can dish out. We've got some serious computing mountains to climb. What we need are bigger GPUs. We need much, much bigger GPUs, he said. All right. So NVIDIA's got this slick new chip called Blackwell, also known as Hopper Next. It's a real powerhouse, dishing out a whopping 20 petaflops per GPU. And get this, when you slap eight of these bad boys together on an HGX circuit board, they use a fancy trick called quantization to amp up the power to a staggering 144 petaflops. What makes Blackwell stand out is its insane 208 billion transistors, more than double the previous Hopper GPUs. To top it off, NVIDIA uses this extraordinary custom manufacturing process called 4NP at Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing to bring Blackwell to life. It's like they're cooking up some next-level tech magic over there. They named this chip after David Harold Blackwell, a big-shot mathematician who rocked the world with his game theory and stat smarts. Fun fact, he was also the first black scholar to make it into the National Academy of Sciences. Pretty impressive, right? Now onto the chip itself. It's got a souped-up version of NVIDIA's NVIDIA Link, zooming data around at a blazing 1.8 terabytes per second for each GPU. This fancy-schmancy thing called a RAS engine keeps the chip running smoothly and reliably. Remember the decompression circuits that kick in for tasks like speedy database searches. Many big shots, such as Amazon Web Services, Dell, Google, Meta, formerly Facebook, Microsoft, OpenAI, Oracle, Tesla, and XAI are jumping on the Blackwell chip bandwagon early on. And here's something cool. You can team up two Blackwell GPUs with NVIDIA's Grace microprocessors to make this mega-powerful chip called the GB200 Grace Blackwell Superchip. Next up, Huang spilled the beans on Project GR00T, named after the lovable Marvel character Groot. It stands for Generalist Robot 00 Technology. Fancy name, right? So what's the deal with GR00T? Huang showed off some cool AI-powered robots, including the Jetson Thor computing platform. 
This platform is all about tackling complex tasks and chatting them up with us humans like it's no big deal. Huang also mentioned that NVIDIA is diving deep into creating a full-fledged system to train humanoid robots. These bots will learn from all sorts of visual goodies, like videos and virtual reality. It's a big team effort, bringing together different NVIDIA divisions focused on AI and robotics to make these futuristic bots a reality. We developed NVIDIA Isaac Lab to train GR00T at scale and built NVIDIA Osmo, a compute orchestration service that coordinates the training and inference workflows across NVIDIA DGX systems for training, NVIDIA OVX systems for simulation, and NVIDIA IGX and NVIDIA AGX systems for hardware-in-the-loop validation, the company said. Let's break down what NVIDIA is up to with their fancy tech. They've got this cool thing called Jetson Thor, which is part of their Isaac Robotics platform makeover. Huang spilled the beans. They taught these robots to handle real-life situations using the Isaac Reinforcement Learning Gym. It's like a high-tech gym for robots. But wait, there's more. NVIDIA also got this virtual gym called Omniverse to train AI in robotics. In a flashy demo, Huang showed off a digital copy of a massive warehouse in Omniverse. It had all sorts of autonomous stuff going on, like humans and vehicles doing their thing together. This virtual playground helps speed up the design of real-world places like factories and improves teamwork between humans and our robotic buddies. Notably, Siemens, a major industrial engineering and operations player, is integrating its Accelerator platform with NVIDIA Omniverse to build what Huang called the Industrial Metaverse. This collaboration indicates that the technology is theoretical and actively implemented in real-world industrial settings. Apple's new Vision Pro headset is also part of the picture. Huang mentioned that Omniverse Cloud streams data straight to Vision Pro, and Vision Pro links you up to Omniverse, giving you a fantastic experience. This setup makes work a breeze, because now all sorts of design tools and CAD are hooked up to Omniverse. Huang also shouted at the car industry, saying it would be a big winner thanks to AI magic. He really drove home the point that robots are popping up everywhere, especially in cool areas like cars, making things safer and more accessible. NVIDIA's deep into crafting the whole robotic shebang, from computer systems for self-driving rides to how things get made in factories. It's like they're building an entire robot revolution. Jets and Thor, Part of this development can be used in autonomous vehicles. Huang mentioned that it will be available for shipment next year and integrated into vehicles from companies like Mercedes and Jaguar Land Rover. If you don't know, the company is developing AI platforms for various firms, including 1X Technologies, Agility Robotics, Aptronic, Boston Dynamics, Figure AI, Fourier Intelligence, Sanctuary AI, Unitree Robotics, and Xpeng Robotics. He highlighted the challenge of creating foundational models for general humanoid robots as one of today's most thrilling AI problems. According to Huang, advancements in enabling technologies allow leading roboticists worldwide to progress significantly toward artificial general robotics. The next one here was Aptronic's humanoid robot, Apollo, which is gaining recognition despite being underrated. In a recent demo, Apollo wowed everyone by doing tasks with some human guidance. This shows how humanoid robots are becoming more independent, moving away from needing someone to control them remotely. And guess what? They're using fancy end-to-end -end neural networks and NVIDIA's new Groot system to make Apollo even more awesome. But wait, there's more robot goodness. Agility Robotics, a big name in the robot world, showed off a humanoid bot with its inner chatterbox. This means the robot has its own scratch pad or thinking process, using language models to plan steps before doing stuff. The demo shows the robot figuring out commands, checking out its surroundings, chatting with its co-host, and even talking about freshly cooked GPUs. How cool is that? Many people focused on the adorable robots during NVIDIA's CEO's presentation with Disney's humanoid robots. However, some missed noticing a sleek, updated version of the 1X Robotics Neo robot in the background. This updated robot is predominantly black, grey and white, showcasing advancements in robotic technology. This is a well-known robotic startup supported by OpenAI. They recently revealed an updated image of their robot, which had not been seen since last summer. 
This new version has a different face, suggesting a significant upgrade is on the way for their humanoid robot model. So besides all the cool stuff about Blackwell and robots, NVIDIA dropped some more exciting news. They've devised some new AI tricks called Gene AI to supercharge their semiconductor design game, especially with a technique called Kulitho. These AI algorithms help kickstart the photomask creation process for chip design, making things much smoother before the final touches. And remember, NVIDIA's Mellanox Squad. They've rolled out some snazzy new network gear like the Quantum X800 Infini Band and Spectrum X800 Ethernet. These babies can zip data around at a crazy 800 Gbps speed, perfect for handling GPU's intense number crunching in those trillion parameter tasks. It's like they're boosting the brain power and speed of our tech world. On the other hand, a collection of 25 pre-built microservices, which are cloud-based software containers for individual applications. These microservices, part of NVIDIA's AI Enterprise software, are built on the NIAM Container Software Suite. These microservices cover fields like life sciences, focusing on tasks such as generative biology, chemistry and molecular prediction. They help generate predictions, inferences, for different models across areas like imaging, medtech, drug discovery and digital health. And lastly, NVIDIA has developed a microservice called Earth2, which acts as a digital twin simulation for extreme weather conditions. It provides rapid warnings and updated forecasts within seconds, a significant improvement compared to traditional CPU-driven models that take minutes or hours. Well, that's it for today's exploration of NVIDIA's cutting-edge advancements, spanning from the revolutionary Blackwell chips to the captivating project GR00T and beyond. But before we wrap up, here's a question to keep the conversation going. What aspect of NVIDIA's innovative technologies intrigues you the most? And how do you envision it shaping the future of AI and robotics? Share your thoughts in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe for more thrilling updates on the ever-evolving tech landscape.